Welcome back, my friends. This is just a quick video on two of what I think are the best bugs in the game. Two of the best kinsects for the insect leaf. So, first off, we have uh, two different types of bugs here. They're both coming from the same lineage, uh, the cauldrone lineage. First, you got the wind chopper lineage here. It's not too hard to get. You just need a couple little, what you need, iron ore, this and that. But for why I like this bug, level 15 speed and level 11 healing with a sever attack, which is really good for just, qu it's quick, it gets out there, it gets you your buff, and if you need a bug for healing, this is the one for you. And then a bug for damage, this bug right here is probably one of the greatest ones because it has level 15 speed and level 12 power. Let me show you this real quick. All right, welcome back. Now we're in the training area. This is a quick demonstration. You see how fast this bug is? This is the most important thing. Level 15 speed is the most important thing. You'll see that this bug leaves a healing dust around. And once you hit that dust, then you are healed. And anyone who, who is around that area is healed. Let me give you a little small demonstration on why a slow bug is not a good thing. Let's go pick ourselves a little slow bug. You see, he's got level 1 speed. Look at him. He's a little chubby little fella. Let's go fly him over there. Oh, he just hit it. And now he's back. Let's go for, like, let's see if I was all the way across the room and I wanted to hit that right there with this little slow bug. He just hit it. Now let's call him back. So slow. And that's why these two bugs are the most important bugs for the kinsect. Oop, wrong thing. So we'll grab our favorite bug, the Grand Canther or the Pseudocath 3. Pseudocath 3, I've got two different ones. Here's my Water Pseudocath and the Blast. So we'll grab the Blast real quick. Look at this little fellow. We'll go to the same, er the same spot as before. Right? Okay. Now let's send him... He's there, and he's back by the time that one just takes to get there. And that you'll see that that thing's doing 17 damage. Like, I'm going to sit here, I can just keep spamming. That's 17, that's 17. Let's see if we can get an explosion. You see that? that and we have explosive damage. Let me just show you just a, just a really quick demonstration. You see that? that He's still sitting there. He's going to fight that. That's 17 damage apiece. For instance, my small hit right here. Well, I mean, I didn't want to do the full. I just wanted to do one hit. I got the glaive powered up. I mean, I'm doing 40, 50 per hit. That, that insect is not too far. He's about 20. Just say. So 17. 17 over and over again, too. You know, and you don't have to be there. That's about 20. And then my main attacks are doing 40 and 36. You know, I can get them to go higher. But that bug, that's the most important thing. You gotta have a good bug. Alright, let me show you this other bug real quick. So you see the pseudocath. It's cool. It looks like a moth, kind of. Um, change equipment. And then pop on our other little bug. Grand Cather. He looks cool, too. Let's give him a little tryout from across the room. They're both level 15, so it should be about the same. It should be exactly the same, actually. True. He's there and back. He's not doing as much damage. He's doing about 13 damage. But that blast, that blast bug, really, it's official. That's all I really wanted to show, because I forgot to touch on that in my last episode, about the Insect Glaive build, and then the build that I'm using right now, y'all can see on the way out. Thanks a lot for watching, my friends. Till next time, Simon says out. Simon says what's on your mind